Hi, this is Walford Kaufman bringing you another devotion. I missed the circus. Now, I didn't get a chance to go to the circus very often, but what I did enjoy was the circus trains that would go up and down this track right out here. And uh, one day I was in my office and I looked and the circus train was coming through. And usually when it comes through this town, it came through very slowly. But this time it actually came to a stop. And they had opened up the doors to those uh, railroad cars that held animals. And you could look and glimpse inside there and see the different animals they had for the circus. It was uh, real entertaining. But I have a question for you. If you had an opportunity to be in the circus and they only gave you two opportunities, two choices, two choices, and you could be in the circus, which one would you take? Would you be that one they would put in the cannon? And you know how they, they would shoot it off and it would shoot that person through the air and to land in a net over here? Would you want to have that position or would you like to be on the tight rope way up in the air, step by step, making your way across? Think about it. I would rather be that one to be in the cannon. See, I know it sounds kind of crazy, but once they pull that switch, whatever it is, and I'm gone, it's through. But if I'm on that tight rope, that's going to be a long, hard journey. I could say step by step, but it's more like inch by inch. And think about it as a believer in Jesus Christ. Wouldn't it be great if we got saved and was taken straight on to heaven? But instead, we get saved and we got to walk out of that church, walk out of that revival, wherever you may be and gotten saved. And you got to go back and walk this world of ours and all the troubles and all the trials. And see, the other way is, is one and done. It's gone. It's finished. But see, the real walk of faith, it takes a long time. And we find something in Scripture here, Matthew 10, verse 16. This is Jesus talking to His disciples. He says, I am sending you out like sheep among wolves. Therefore, be as shrewd as snakes and as innocent as doves. That's what we're called to do. But think about that. We're being sent out step by step. It's a long journey. And yes, it looks very dangerous at times. We're in the midst of wolves. But this is where we need to be learning how to be shrewd as snakes and as innocent as doves. And the only way we can do that is through a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. To seek wisdom as you make that step. At that next adventure you go through. See, man, let's just go on to heaven. That'd be great. But instead, Lord says, trust me. Let's walk in faith. That's what we're supposed to do. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, today, we thank You that You save us. And Lord, You do empower us as we walk through this, this life. Lord, there's a lot of wolves out there that are trying to tear us apart as believers. But let us learn how to be shrewd. And Lord, we need Your wisdom. And Lord, let us now be innocent. And the only way we can do that is through Your power. Thank You now as we journey through life. And Lord, thank You. It's going to be a great time when we get to heaven. But it's even a great adventure now as we trust in You. In Jesus' name, Amen. Well, today... Get out there, walk that tightrope called life, but Lord is going to be with you.